Welcome guys to the development blog of Project Envision. This is going to be the second release currently of <clears throat> Whoa, sorry guys. This is going to be the second release currently of Project Envision. And I am just going to walk you guys through what I'm doing in each little video. So currently I am going to use CryEngine 3, as you can tell by the background. Don't know if you know anything about uh, game engines, but this is a very advanced game engine that is very nice and smooth and easy to use. And I am using this on the gaming PC currently. What is Project Envision? Project Envision is going to be a role playing game similar to Arma 3 Life, but built on an engine that would support it better. There is a game made that's coming out. I can't remember what it's called, but it's also by the creators of Arma 3 Life, the server owners, and it's it, it's pretty nice. Um it's <laughs> it's a good thing that they got. Um so currently I am just doing the train. This is going to be the first train, I think. I have actually reamped and made a new train. Er, well, I'm still using the same train. I've just customized it a little bit currently. I have some objects around. and This is going to be for the demo. What the demo is, is the demo... Wow, multiple re re repetitions. Repetitions. That's how you say that. What the demo is, is a version of the game that has been released in order to you know make it make it look better and for the trailer there we go what I am currently doing is raising up the terrain so that you can actually stand on it and you won't be swimming 24 7 what CryEngine does is it spawns you in a world filled with water just straight water that's what CryEngine is built around in my opinion they have the most beautiful water ever um but the whole thing here is love. No, I'm messing with you guys. I'm just messing with you. But Cry Eng er, Project Envision is going to be a game built around role playing, as you can tell, that has complete freedom. More than just complete freedom, but advanced freedom. The only rule is do not hack. RDM, murder, random killing, cops killing, cops doing drugs, cops becoming corrupt all of that is allowed and it's going to be built for high quality graphics not low quality graphics it's going to be built for beauty I'm thinking about releasing it on PS4 and PC and Xbox one of course and it's it's going to sort of in my in my opinion in my aspirations of this game I hope that it follows along with the retail that Battlefield has not Call of Duty because in my opinion Call of Duty is a cartoon game you know it's not really that realistic but it's a lot of freaking fun what I want this game to be is fun and realistic sort of like Battlefield in my opinion I'm going to get the trailer out and once the trailer's out I'm going to make it look really nice I'm going to do the recording on a gaming PC and everything I'm going to hopefully get it sponsored but for now this is what you get to see dev blog is not going to be a 24 7 thing it's going to be a rarely released item and whenever it does get released it's going to be it's going to be pretty special because I'm going to update you guys on some stuff currently right now on my monitor next to me let me walk you through some stuff stuff and things stuff and things yes 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 one second, I gotta plug my PC in correctly. Let's see, is this HDMI cable long enough? I what I'm recording this with is my HD60 capture card, which is made for PS4. As many of you know, it's a newer capture card. I've already talked about that, so I'm not gonna talk about it right now. But currently, I'm just looking at my other monitor over here, and I have some tanks, some trees, and I'm working on some foliage for the ground. What you are seeing in the background is just me working. It's going to be a long video and you can just tune out if you want. It's going to be just explaining some things. 
For what I have right now on the other monitor has helicopters, Humvees, and tanks and a road connected to a big bridge that looks like it's been pretty much destroyed down at the end in the past. And then I have a little dock with a boat that I can drive around on. But that's not what we're worrying about right now. Right now, we are worrying about the game itself. Yeah, America. Whew. America. Alright, I'm just messing with you guys. Once again, I'm sorry. I like to kid a lot. So, what you're looking at now is the creations the creation of the military base island which is going to be called Lake Canister and eventually whenever I do have the full release for multiplayer and everything this is going to be made for or this lake is going to be made into just another loot spawn area it's not, it's sort of going to follow Alcatraz if you ask me and it's going to look pretty nice the textures are going to be nice and everything Alright, what you're looking at now is just the drop-off cliff where it's going to sort of go down to the bridge area for the exit. If you are wondering how hard it is to create games, to be honest, it is not that hard. I don't even know why I just said that. Just go with it. It is pretty hard to create a game, but the reason I've done, I've been working on Project Envision by myself for quite a while now, and I just now decided to add it to a better looking engine other than Unity, free version of Unity. So, Valentine's Day is coming up, and all those guys and girls out there who have somebody for Valentine's Day, tell me what you guys are going to get for Valentine's Day. I'm at a loss right now to know what to get my girlfriend. I don't know what to get her. So, yeah. I'm thinking about going for a... It's a long story, and I'm not going to let you in on my personal life, so just, just watch. So this was a failed idea of mine. I was going to have it to where it sort of steps down the whole way. But I, as you can tell, I did not really follow that. So I'm just going to skip forward in the video a little. Nah, I got to talk through the whole thing. 30 minutes of talking, yay. Nope, I'm joking. I'm just going to skip forward. So right now I am looking at just the... You know what? You guys, you guys don't need to hear this. You can just watch this with some pretty freaking epic music in the background. So that's what I'll do, you guys. Um, yeah. Peace out, boys.
welcome back guys to the dev blog so I hope you enjoyed that music that I put in thanks to freedom my sponsorship company that I work with and let's just get back to the video so what you are currently seeing is me touching up the side of island canister <clears throat> and the reason I'm doing this is just to give it a little bit of a fade effect but Right now, while looking at it, it doesn't really look that good with the gravel, so I end up taking that out in a later edition. What you're looking at, that tool is to select the color that the f it will fade in with, so that's a really nice tool in my opinion. I really like it. I really like the way the colors look and everything, how they fade in and out. But I'm just going to do this all the way around. Sort of give it that fade effect. Or at least I thought it would look like a fade. But yeah. This is just the brush settings. I think I set it down to smaller. So that I can fade it even less. And try to get that color fade going. Without actually bringing up the texture. Yeah, that's what I'm doing there. Make sure that I get it nice and smooth and everything. So I hope you guys like this dev vlog. It's not something that I'm going to do all the time. But I will definitely do it most of the time. Or some of the time, not most of the time. The next dev vlog, I'm thinking about releasing it next week to give you some a progress update. And then I'm going to do the tech demo of the game. Which is basically just showing off the dev the game before it comes out to try to get some backing and everything if you would like to support the game eventually I will have a kickstart kickstarter up and running for it there that way I will be able to get a better computer for rendering it because once I start adding foliage trees roads you know objects it's it's not going to be able to run that good on my gaming PC because this is a very very strong engine So if you're wondering what those boxes are, that is the default texture that CryEngine uses for terrain until you raise and lower it. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is trying to get rid of that blockiness and sort of fade it together, but as you can tell that doesn't really work out that good for me I don't really know why it's doing that I really wish it would stop to where it smoothly faded but you know whatever it's still a work in progress whenever I get all the textures and everything it will look better than that So yeah guys, I am about to invite you to the development team. Anybody out there, I do mean anybody, I will, if you speak a different language than I do, and you don't understand English, which I don't know why you would be watching this then, but if you don't understand English, um, I would still like to invite you to the development team. Not everybody can join, I mean you gotta have some experience, or you have to be talented, or, or at least be willing to learn the programming that this is or not well I mean I'll do all the programming and everything but I need people who will help me with 3D modeling I'm not really the best at 3D modeling so if there's any of you out there who would like to please send me some of your work so that I can see and if there's some of you that go to my school I know some people from my school watch my videos please get in touch with me I would really appreciate it and I would really like to see some people from my community actually helping out with this game that would be something really 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 special to me if you're looking at the textures and you see them repeating they don't really it, it's not that noticeable once you add the obj's into it which are basically just 3d objects that you cannot walk on or that you cannot fall through and walk through they actually have hitboxes So here I try to add that little bit of gravel effect, you know, sort of like a road, I think, or a path, but that doesn't work out, and I eventually just use the built-in road editor.
So as you can tell, it sort of looks randomly placed, and it doesn't really look that good. But you know, it would it, it could still look cool if I had decided to do that. But this is basically the this is going to be what I hope to be one of the hot spots for PvP in this game. One second guys, I will be right back. Until then, just keep checking this out. And if you've still made it this far in this video, thank you. You are a true comrade. We are back. I just had to get something to drink. So here I think I'm trying to cover it up at this point, but there's a weird glitch with CryEngine where creating texture colors will change if you add something and it's hard to get them to get removed. So here's where I add the first object into my game. I think this is a bridge that I turn into a ramp. And eventually, I think, actually in this video I add a vehicle and I just ramp it off the side. Just to see how good it is. So you know, I'm just looking through these to see what there is. No, here's what I added. This is a fallen tree. I don't think it was a fallen tree, actually. Maybe it was. Let's see. Yeah, that's what it was. What I'm looking for here is follow terrain, which is the one that's next to the grid. I think I was looking for, no, nah, that's what I was looking for. I wanted to make it sort of um, come out of the surface. And I am in game now, and I died. But yeah, that's not what the hood HUD will look like. That's just the default. I haven't had any time to change those yet. But yeah, guys, if you liked the development blog, I hope you 
watch next ones next weeks next week we'll give you an update on the progress of the game I don't know when this game will be released I know it will be released someday though so I hope you liked this and until next time guys peace out <laughs>